Hey guys, just a quick tip for you guys who are using legacy content. You'll see here that I've installed Noggin Seagull. Noggin's a vendor over at Daz and he creates a lot of animal creatures, but this is one of his very old uh, pieces of content. And you'll see that there's no thumbnails here. Now, in the old days, thumbnails used to be stored in the actual file. Here's a, here's a look at the directory here and you'll see the CRT and RSR files uh, there's there's no separate PNG if you compare that to say uh, let's have a look uh, this here you'll see that there's a CRT and then there's a separate PNG file a, a PNG image file so what we want to do is convert these because I can't remember which version it was but after a while Poser stopped displaying these embedded uh, image files so all we're going to do is is just convert these with a brilliant program called p3d0 or p3do it's uh, a free program but it's worth buying the the pro version so so here I am I've, I've navigated to the noggin seagull directory and you'll see here it shows the actual image files even though there's no PNG so what we need to do here is just go up to tools convert RSR to PNG now you could get this to convert your entire content library if you wanted to but all I'm just going to do here is convert the RSR file to PNG set to all files and you see that it's done for for updated and now if I go back to the directory noggins you'll see now that there's PNG files have been extracted from the uh, from the RSR files and if I refresh this directory now you'll see now that it has thumbnails just a simple trick guys so that program again is called P3DO you can get it from Seno software here here's their website uh, senosoft.com uh, not really uh, advertising for them. I just it's a program that I enjoy. It does lots more features. Maybe someday I'll do a review of it. But for now, hopefully uh, it's something that's uh, worth considering for you guys who have got lots of really old legacy content. Thanks again. Take care.